Y'all know by now I hate being out of focus. Uh, one thing that bothers me the most is film of someone talking and they're out of focus. The um, foreground is out of focus, but the background is in focus. That drives me freaking nuts. Anyways, what's going on World Wide Web? It is your boy Trey Libra, and today is Monday, October 17th, 2016. Been kind of busy, uh, but not busy. I guess what I mean is um, busy in the sense that I'm doing something, but I could be doing so much more. If my life was a timeline, it's like that, 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 that space, that, 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 or whatever. Um, I'm busy, I'm not busy not busy but I'm busy I'm not sure if that makes any sense to you all being a freelance videographer photographer and being a independent uh, hip-hop recording artist it's scary it's interesting it's fun it's all though you know because it's not like getting up going to a nine-to-five and you know you already having the day planned out um, you follow a work curriculum or a school curriculum you have to make up your own schedule. You have to go get it. Uh, today was kind of interesting. I met up with a potential client, and this potential client has a daughter who is a teen who does who does music, and they're very new at this whole music thing. Uh, they got my phone number and contact information from uh, a studio owner and engineer who I used to be tied with back in the days, and this studio engineer gave this potential client my contact information and when they reached out to me uh, we've been going back and forth on email for my maybe like uh, three weeks now um, and this client wanted to meet and we met in the parking lot of Target and the reason why we met in the parking lot of Target and not inside Target she had a CD that she wanted me to listen to of her daughter I'm so used to having people to send me the links to their music via SoundCloud YouTube but in this case this person um, I had to meet them in my car to be able to discuss business opportunities and to listen to the music the business meaning kind of you know went to the side a bit because this person is very very new very new at this music thing and um, kind of don't know where to start with the music like how to get it copyrighted and spent part of the meeting kind of like consulting progress was made uh, we departed I emailed this person gave them some links to check out some stuff to read over and you know so that they can move forward. But uh, now I'm um, I'm at my older boy's house, as you can see the blue walls. Uh, the kids are out in the living room playing video games and doing homework and stuff. Um, but uh, anyways, on the subject of being a go-getter, independent artist, or freelance videographer, photographer, I kind of want to like talk about motivation and sacrifice. The focus got out of focus. Um, we were talking about sacrifices and speaking of sacrifices I have a video shoot coming up next month in Cincinnati, Ohio and I'm gonna tell you how I did that a lot of times online what I would do and y'all might think I'm crazy but sometimes people don't think creatively they don't think out the box so sometimes you have to provoke them and motivate them like I do these crazy sales in my video shoots, right? Two hundred and thirty dollars, you get two hours and stuff like that. So I would uh, I create a flyer, I grab a picture of a city from Google, and yo, coming to Atlanta, Georgia, coming to Charlotte, North Carolina, um, you need a music video, holler at me. And a lot of times I don't have any plans to really go to that city, but just this is just be like freestyle. And what it does is you're reaching out to people who possibly live in those cities. I won't have like a, a, a penny to my name, nothing in my pocket, but I just announced that I'm coming to someone's city. A lot of times I'll get three, four, five people that live in that city that will reach out to me and contact say, hey, I heard you coming to Charlotte, you know. I'll be like, yes. So I'll get those three, four, five people to put down deposit and bam, that's enough money to either rent me a car or pay for the gas in my car or, you know, get it serviced before I hit the road and get a hotel or whatever. 
and then when I get to that city or whatever, I get the remain I shoot these people music videos and then I'll get the remaining money from them while I'm there, you know. Of course that helps out with food. Um it's kind of risky, but it works. It works in a lot of cases. And if you get no hits, if nobody say hey, nobody cares about that post or whatever, then you ain't got to go and you ain't got to worry about, you know what I'm saying? Because ain't nobody interested in the post or the tweet or whatever. But uh, it works, you know, and uh, sometimes people uh, don't think about getting you to their city. They think they want, they have a general idea like, wow, I really like Trey Lieber as a videographer. I'm, I'm upset that he lives 800 miles away. So you kind of got to, you know, show initiative uh, or even contact several people that live in that same city and say, hey, look, y'all get together, discuss something, you know, pay for a rental of mine or, or chip in on money to get pay for an airplane ticket and get me to your city or whatever, you know, and then that way they ain't spend like tons of money on a music video shoot. Like they all come up, like say they're paying for 230 on a music video, but then on top of the 230, they may dish out $50 and this person dish out $50, this person dish out $50 and collectively they've paid for your transportation to get to their city. So that's kind of what I mean by sacrifice sometimes. And in some cases, I've been to people's city. Y'all gonna trip out when I tell you this. There's been times where I've slept in my car. I've slept, I've literally slept in my car. No hotel room that first night or whatever. You know, camp out in my car. Gas stations, you know, go wash off. Of course you're gonna bring your extra undies and clothes and stuff like that. Go to a gas, gas station to wash off, take a bath, whatever, you know what I'm saying? You know, buy a little cheap meal from McDonald's, Burger King, whatever, you know. And it sometimes that's how you gotta do it, you know. I'm thinking about doing more of that. I get so tired of the city that I live in, St. Petersburg, Florida. Like, I just want, I want to see the world. I want to travel more. I, I want to, like, I learn too. When I go to these different cities and stuff, I learn, you know, I really learn. Um, the different culture of people, the different foods. Uh, the, the way the transportation moves, animals. I went to Toronto, Canada, Ontario. I didn't even know that black squirrels even existed. I saw black squirrels in Toronto. And before that, I didn't even know that black squirrels exist. I hope you watching this video, you got something in mind that you want to do or you want to go pursue. Go do it, you know. Sometimes you got to live on the edge, you know. I ain't saying be crazy and just... If you know your car is not well, don't don't try, I mean, get a rental, you know, or something. Get on the train, you know. Trains aren't that expensive, so you know. I kind of wanted to put. I know this video. I'm like, it's very long. I hope this feeds somebody. Check out the bottom of the video in the the description section. Uh, check out some of my previous videos. Like this video by clicking the little thumbs up. Um, comment in the comment section and subscribe if you aren't subscribed already and please share this video with other people what you about to go do what I want, you know why I came I see that you laughing, but this ain't a game Been rapping for years and building my brand No label at all, just the help of the fans But now I'm on some stick em up And I ain't talking armature